लेप्रोस्कोपिक रेडिकल कोलिसमी फॉर कार्सिनोमा गॉल बेडर स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच वी प्रेजेंट ए 48 एट ईयर्स ओल्ड मेल हु हैड पॉलीपॉइडल मास इन दंडस एंड इन फंडिबुलम he was thoroughly investigated and then taken up for diagnostic laparoscopy 15 mm by various needle pneumoperitoneum and then we place supra umbilical 10 mm 0 degree optibule and two ports on the right side of the midline and two ports on the left side of the midline three of the ports are 5 mm and one more port is 10 mm on diagnostic laparoscopy we find that liver has no metastasis the mass is not adherent to any other organ and there is no ascites step 1 is to fix the falsi form ligament to the anterior abdominal wall with the help of monofilament nylon on a straight needle and it is hitched to the anterior abdominal wall for better visualization of porta hepatis one can feel with the help of grasper the growth or the mass polypoidal mass in the fundic area next aim is that we take care of all the fibro fatty tissue in the hepatoduodenal area we use the harmonic hd 1000i what is the advantage of harmonic 1000i is that it has got long blades it can be used as maryland dissector and it can take bigger vessels also we start with the aim that all the fibro fatty tissue in the hepatoduodenal ligament will be taken off an n block means all the fibro fatty tissue with all the lymph nodes pericoledocal periportal peri artery so all these lymph nodes and and fibro fatty tissue has to be taken n block rather than piecemeal first dissection is done close to the hepatic artery in this situation one can visualize the common hepatic artery and the gastroduodenal artery and as we do the dissection in the supra duodenal area supra pancreatic area taking care of all the fibro fatty tissue one should try not to injure any vascular or ductal structures one should know the anatomy well and as we use the harmonic small bites small mistakes one can do the coagulation with bipolar ligature also but again intent is that we should take off all the fibro fatty tissue from the hepatic artery portal vein and common bile duct in this situation one can appreciate that we are using the harmonic hd and taking care of the lymphatic tissue the neural tissue dissecting that off and remaining parallel to the structures the trick is for example when we are working close to the artery then one should work close to the tunica adventitia so that we do not cause much of bleeding the hyalur plate is cleared 
of all the fibro fatty tissue step by step first the hepatoduodenal hepatogastric and hepatocystic triangle all the fibro fatty tissue is dissected off and then one starts mobilizing the three structures the advantage of laparoscopic radical cholecystectomy is that we are able to see even the retro portal vein area which was initially thought that surgeons will not be able to achieve and that is why open surgery was still reserved for that now I, we will show in this that once we have dissected close to the hepatic artery common the gastroduodenal artery is also taken care of and then we are seeing the hepatic artery proper and it is dividing into left hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery small bites small mistakes all the fibro fatty tissue should be taken off n block should not be taken piecemeal once the fibro fatty tissue has been taken off the right hepatic artery then we are able to see the position of the cystic artery and cystic artery one can see that we are working close to the arteries remaining absolutely parallel all the vascular structures are clearly seen and we will revise the anatomy in a few minutes after doing the complete fibro fatty dissection also we go into the retro portal vein area take off all the fibro fatty tissue also so the hyalur plate is taken care of and all the structures are delineated in an anatomical fashion now one can appreciate that we have dissected the right hepatic artery and we are nearing the cystic artery we apply the clip on to the cystic artery close to the right hepatic artery the one can appreciate that and then cut the cystic artery towards the gall bladder the hepatocystic triangle fibro fatty tissue has been taken care of once the cystic artery has been taken care of next step is to take care of the cystic duct the common bile duct the common hepatic duct is seen and cystic duct is also clipped close to the common bile duct two clips towards the cbd side and one clip on to the gall bladder side and the cystic duct margin is taken off and sent for frozen section biopsy in this patient it turned out to be not having malignancy in the cystic duct margin so we did not proceed further with extra hepatic common bile duct resection and hepaticogenostomy we could take the hepatocystic triangle fibro fatty tissue and now in this situation we must impress that we are working retro portal vein and we are able to see nicely because of the 30 degree scope again one can appreciate that one is able to work above the level of pancreas one is able to see the hepatic artery 
common hepatic artery hepatic artery proper dissect the tissues off and then see the branches of the artery taking off all the fibro fatty tissue this is portal vein remaining parallel to the portal vein all the fatty tissue has been taken off all the lymph nodes will be there in the fibro fatty tissue which we are dissecting at this stage and once the all the n block resection of the fibro fatty tissue has been done then we place it in a pre placed endo bag and we will remove it at the end taking care that we do not make it into pieces one can appreciate the anatomy well common hepatic artery hepatic artery proper left hepatic artery right hepatic artery cystic duct cystic artery has been clipped and then next step is after delineation of the anatomy next step is to resect the liver by 2 cm all around the gall bladder fossa first we do the scoring with harmonic hd scoring 2 cm away from the gall bladder fossa in the on the posterior aspect one has to be careful that we are far away from the ruveal sulcus so that we do not cause any injury to ductal structures or vascular structures the scoring is done on the liver and making sure that we are 2 cm away all around we place sutures vicral suture on a round body needle on the liver margin for a better retraction if we use for example a grasper to hold the liver margin for retraction the chances of bleeding are definitely higher because it can cause the texture it can hurt the texture of the liver so we place two sutures and it is a u shaped sutures for good retraction of the liver margin all around and then with the help of energy sources energy source in the sense this is harmonic hd integrated hand piece i we call this as 1000 i hd 1000 i so we take the help of harmonic hd go all around the trick is that we should remain perpendicular to the tissues most common mistake the surgeon can do at this stage is that as we go deep into the liver then one can become more towards the gall bladder fossa and that margin will not be 2 cm around so trick is that one should remain absolutely perpendicular to the initial line of which we have given with the harmonic hd 1000 i the aim is to maintain a good hemostasis either with harmonic or with bipolar or ligature or if one is able to see the vessels then clip them and if one is able to see the ducts so that there is no spill of the bile in the per operative as well as post operative period so one should be very careful slow is fast fast is slow means we should take care 
that we do not cause much bleeding when we are doing the liver resection, liver wedge non-anatomic wedge resection. The advantage of non-anatomic wedge resection is that we are around 2 centimeters away from the gallbladder fossa and taking all the structures and all the vessels and ductal structures and maintaining the hemostasis also. Again, we are using the ligature at places and the harmonic and dissection and we normally would arrange the blood in such kind of patients of carcinoma gallbladder but our intention is not to transfuse the blood means we should try our best to do the liver ex wedge resection with hemostasis in our mind and once the complete end block again i am emphasizing end block resection of the wedge of the liver with gallbladder fossa with gallbladder is done then again it is placed into the endo bag and we place in after checking the hemostasis fibrillar into the area in which the resection has been done the anatomy is again visualized check 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 recheck cross check counter check and then we believe on placing the jackson pratt drain normally we would discharge the patient on day two or day three with the drain in c2 one can see n block resection of the wedge of the liver with the gallbladder and the biopsy report came out to be moderately differentiated invasive carcinoma and 15 lymph nodes were seen and all the 15 lymph nodes did not show any deposits. The patient we have been following regularly and is he was operated in 2019 and till date he is maintaining his CA 19.9 tumor marker levels very well and is absolutely comfortable. Thank you very much for your attention.